So if I start to, uh, let's say, modify any of my numerical inputs here in my script, hit play. I could just keep creating more spheres with those specific values assigned. So go ahead and uh, try a couple different options. Okay, now uh, this is what's commonly called a hard-coded script. It's hard-coded. There's no user interfacing. There's no way for um, me in the Rhino viewport as I'm running my script to actually tell it what to do. Everything has been specified numerically here. All right, so I'm going to delete my, my spheres, and let's look at another way to actually add some more um, interfacing into the script so that as it starts to run, it actually asks, asks the user for the information that it wants to um, uh, define the point and radius with. All right, so we're going to go into, um, into our script again, and I'm going to comment out line 5 and 8 because I'm going to replace them with something else, but I want to leave that version in the file. All right, so instead of just defining the value directly, let's try a different option. Let's say that my point equals rs.get point. Now what this is going to do is going to prompt the user to define a point. So if we look at the output window down below, it says get point, what message do you want to use, and everything else is optional. Now again, back to the earlier question, here it shows that these arguments are optional but it doesn't show that any, any of them are required. But the other method didn't have these little brackets, say OPT. So again, good thing to point out to the form. So rs.getPoint, and let's give ourselves a, mes um, a message to define the center point in quotes and close parentheses. So this is going to ask the user to define the center point, and then store the result of that request into my point. All right, and let's do the same for my radius. And this is data type specific, right? We want a point, so we have to say get point. So let's try the same um, option down below. My radius equals rs dot get. Let's see if there's any options here. We said that something with a decimal point was called a double. I don't see get double, but I do see get real. And get real will allow us to define a double value, right, or request that from the user. So rs.getreal, and let's give ourselves another message, which is define the radius. Close quotes, close parentheses. My radius equals rs.getreal. So if I've typed that up and I run it and I don't have any errors, notice in the command line it says define the center point. And when I move my mouse into the viewport, it gives me the, um, the cursor as the uh, crosshairs to define a point. So I'll choose out there and to find the center, maybe I'll try 10.5. Now I have a sphere, a sphere, right? So that gives us one step in between running the script directly and the user. And it's particularly useful when you have a little utility script, let's say, that is going to be used in multiple different contexts or by different users. You're going to share the script with your friend, which is always fun. Those little prompts are, and being specific about what it's asking for are really, really useful. And they're uh, definitely a way to kind of um, define all the inputs um, in dynamically as the script is run. Okay. So before we move any further, uh, let's address any questions you might have.
All right, so the first question, which is probably what, have, what I would have asked, why does it say get real? Okay, so let's go to the uh, Rhino help. All right, this pauses for a user input of a number. Okay, so relative to computer science, which um, Ronnie, neither Ronnie nor I were trained as computer scientists, but relative to computer science, how the computer stores a value with a decimal point, such as 10.25, can be done in a number of different ways, like many different ways. And this very minute specifics of how they're different um, defines whether something could be understood as a double, a single, a float, a real number, etc. Right? So we for the most Basic kind of purposes for pretty much everything, floats, doubles, reels, those are all uh, the same thing, right? Um, if you get really into scripting, uh, you might find yourself in a situation where you need to know the specific difference of them, but for our purposes, they're the same. Um, so that's, pro that's another good question um, that might indicate suggestion on where to look for additional help on that kind of thing. So you might look at mathworld.com as a way to uh, get more information as to why something's called a real versus a double. Um, and this is uh, just, this is, there are only a couple of uh, kind of quirky things about RhinoScript um, based on a um, kind of introductory level usage of it. And this is just one of them. So get real is asking for a double. All right, and there was another question about um, why when I had this as uh, numbers, a hard-coded version, why it created multiple spheres. So that was because I kept running the script. I, pl I pressed play multiple times. So if I were to do that again, The spheres will stay there, right? Because that was the one that I uh, created a second ago, and this is the new one. So if I were to continue to use my script, of course, I could create more and more spheres. Okay, and um, there's another question about our point data type, the specific specifics of it, but I'm going to reserve that for a later exercise because uh, for now we can just think of this as X, Y, Z, and that's as far as we need to get into it before we go any further, right? But if we wanted to create a point uh, hard, with a kind of hard-coded method, um, we would have to specify X, Y, and Z, and we'll kind of leave it at that before we go further. All right, so let's go on to the next exercise. I'm going to save this as 1-1 um, create sphere. All right. All right.